Trump, many people said he needed a win tonight to get the delegates he needs to land the nomination. He can still do so, but it gets much more difficult. The chances of a contested convention uh, now increasing. Ted Cruz had been leading Wisconsin going into tonight. He'd been telling his supporters Wisconsin will send a very strong message moving forward. And to the exit polls we go, 43% of Republican voters said they are excited about a Trump presidency, but more than half said they would be concerned or scared about it. So we do begin tonight on the Republican side, and ABC's Tom Yamas leads us off from Wisconsin. Tonight, Donald Trump was asking for Wisconsin votes and playing fortune teller at the same time. It feels like Thank you New so Hampshire. Much. I think you're going to have a big, big turnout. You're going to have a great surprise today. And Trump now unveiling a surprise of his own, finally disclosing how he plans to convince Mexico to pay for that wall. I will build a great, great wall. The wall is going to go up, and it's going to go up fast. And that sucker could be 40 feet, 50. Nobody's going over it with a truck. The wall just got 10 feet higher. Build that wall. Build that wall. Who's going to pay, pay for the wall? Today, the Trump campaign saying that until Mexico agrees to pay up, the Trump administration would block undocumented immigrants from sending money home to their families in Mexico, potentially crippling the Mexican economy. To avoid that fate, quote, it's an easy decision for Mexico. Make a one-time payment of 5 to $10 billion to build that wall. The wall is a fraction of the kind of money in many different ways that Mexico takes in from the United States. But tonight, President Obama mocking the Trump plan. The notion that we're going to track every Western Union, uh, you know, a bit of money that's being sent to Mexico, uh, you know, good luck with that. Trump's new plan comes as he tries to regain momentum after a rough patch. With him in Wisconsin, wife Melania taking the mic for her first prepared speech. No matter who you are, a man, or a woman. He treats everyone equal. Mrs. Trump trying to help her husband with female voters after a series of mistakes, including his retweet of this unflattering image of Ted Cruz's wife. I said stay away from, uh, you know, stay away from uh, retweets. And <laughs> 